Hi everyone, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I want to tell you a little bit more about the Mudo. The Mudo 1, Mudo 2 and the Mudo 3 that I just got. The Mudo is currently the only manufactured device that is meant for lead rope solo climbing. So that's really cool. So a long time ago, before the Mudo, you had the soloist and the silent partner. But as you probably know, they're discontinued right now. It's a shame, but this is what we have to live with. And if you want one of them, you will have to pay big money to get them. Or you can contact Manuel Larios and ask for a Mudo. The workmanship on these devices is really incredible. As you can see, the Mudo has evolved a lot since the Mudo 1. Uh, when I received that device, I did not like the finish because I thought there could be some of the devices produced that would have sharp edges. I thought that the closing mechanism that keeps the rope in there, I thought it was not safe enough and I did not use it much. And when I got the Mudo 2.0, I could see that it was much, much, much better. Um, the, the finish is just uh, shiny. I don't feel it can harm any rope. Uh, and testing with some of my ropes, but it's very rare but uh, it was slipping on my Beal 9.7 millimeter booster three rope, but it did not slip enough to get me fear. It would let me go to the ground or anything like that. So I managed to lead a hard pitch for me uh, with the Mudo 2. I was really happy about it, but I can say that I did not fall on it. Notice that if you're interested in lead rope soloing, you should look at my online course on my website, blissclimbing.com, but uh, you can also contact me directly for in-person courses. I don't suggest like you go lead rope solo without a course, really. The Mudo 2 was written compatible with 9.8 to 10.5 millimeter ropes, where the Mudo 3 has a different design uh, on the attachment point and also the part that keep, keeps everything together is instead of being in the back it's in the front so it hangs a little bit different and thanks to that it doesn't slip anymore even with thin ropes I mean the Beal Joker 9.1 millimeter was slipping a lot with the Mudo 2 and it's well outside the range for that device but uh, I mean with the um, with the Mudo 3 it doesn't even slip so that's really cool now what I liked with the Mudo 2 was in order to rappel I found that it was really smooth no wonder because it was sliding slightly with my Beal Booster. Still, I was wrapping down with this device and liked it a lot. I find with the Mudo 3, the way to wrap down would be to probably have an ATC on you. Then you put the ATC above the Mudo 3 and the Mudo 3 will act like an auto lock third hand. Uh, and that works apparently really well. I will have to go try that. So if you have the Mudo 2 and you, f you test it like just hanging on the rope and it doesn't slip on you with your rope, then there's no issue. And I don't think it's worth going buying the Mudo 3 right now. Uh, if it does slip and you don't like that, well, you can go and see the Mudo 3. Uh, what I like also is they're fairly inexpensive, especially for the quality it is. And I tested a uh, pull test with the Mudo 2.0 static test. I tested it with a 9.0 semi-static rope. 
And so it's way out of range for the diameter, as I said, and it was slipping at 0.5 kilonewtons. So in order to be able to pull hard, I put a backup knot uh, outside the Mudo, and when it bumped on the device, I raised the tension to 8.2 kilonewtons. So on a 9.0 millimeter rope that was worn, and guess what? There was no damage on the device. Uh, it's all steel, so I, I wouldn't think it would harm the device. That's really cool. Uh, but also, no uh, damage on the 9mm rope. Now, that's a hell of a result. I have a lot of devices. I tested 76 status, static tests of the kind. All the details is currently for people buying the online course and I don't remember a single device that will give you the, this type of result. Now, I should probably test the Soloist, uh, which might be able to handle this type of same results. Uh, but yeah, very, very uh, nice to the rope. So very, that's really reliable for a lead rope solo device. So thank you, Manuel Larios, for sending me your mudos and letting me test them. Uh, I think uh, they're, you know, the only device out there currently that is meant for lead rope solo climbing. That's big. Uh, I hope you like uh, this video. Please uh, push the like button, subscribe to my channel, and go see my website, blissclimbing.com. The link is in the description. Thank you very much.